Hey everybody, it's meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you. It's a beautiful Friday out there, a little bit of a wind, and it's definitely been cool, but more cold is on the way. A frost possible, a freeze possible. Hutch's forecast begins right now. Now, a Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson, brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. All right, thanks for joining me, and make sure you go ahead and like the video if you like the content here, and share it with your friends. That Hutch is still here watching the weather for you. Where you see the blue, that's the cooler temperatures, the arrowhead of Minnesota. The cool spot today was some uh, 40s up there. Now, as we take a look, central parts of North Dakota today, a few more clouds there causing temperatures in the 50s, but we're near 60 in the Red River Valley, and the real warmth is on in the big sky country of Montana and southern South Dakota with some mid-60s there for those folks. Here's a look at what's going on with regards to our regional radar as we head into your evening now as the weekend is upon us. So let's take a look at that national picture. Showers and thunderstorms could be strong. Kansas moving into Nebraska, northern parts of Arkansas and Missouri. We do have a smattering of uh, thunderstorms working their way through the southern Rockies for today and a cold front working its way into the Ohio River Valley now bringing some Montreal thunderstorm potential but for us it's shh, quiet. But as we zoom in just a little bit closer to our neck of the woods what you're going to notice here we do have just a couple of sprinkles showing up in Beltrami and Clearwater counties right now on the radar, and that is literally just about all we see down into Watertown and points south towards Sioux Falls. Hit and miss showers on the satellite. What does it look like? Well, take a look at the clouds drifting through the region here as we uh, load this up for you, and we can see quite a fair amount of cloud cover across our region today. Now, when we hit O dark 30 and the temperatures tend to cool, these types of little puffy daytime fair weather cumulus clouds tend to dissipate pretty quickly, meaning we'll have a fair amount of cloud cover still at the higher levels of the atmosphere here across Minnesota. This will dissipate maybe a few in central parts of North Dakota, meaning there's going to be some areas right here where we see these lumpy, bumpy clouds of some mighty cold temperatures through the overnight hours. Here's what I'm foreseeing for our area as we go through the overnight. Take a look at these low temperatures, which as we see the Red River Valley here, having them in the upper 30s to near 40. So frost potential here for many in the James River Valley. Valley, the Cheyenne River Valley. And as you look across into the arrowhead of Minnesota, some mid 30s there with a sprinkle not out of the question from one or two of those clouds. Going out to the west, I mentioned that we'd have a chance for some mighty chilly weather there. And again, another frosty, possibly freezing night for the oil patch of North Dakota. Now, as we head into your afternoon on Saturday, the temperatures will be on the mild side to the west. We're talking 70 to 75 degrees. Baker, Montana, Glendive, Montana into western South Dakota seeing some of the warmer weather and here across Minnesota 55 to 60 degrees as a rule with the coolest weather oh, focused out here once again in the arrowhead of Minnesota. Now, that is one thing, but we will expect even colder temperatures as we head into Sunday right here in the valley. I've been talking about this the entirety of the forecast week with these both days highlighted now as a hutch's hunch for some cold weather. Areas of patchy frost and an isolated area of freezing conditions possible as we rise and shine on your Saturday, 62 Fargo. Then as we go into Sunday, more widespread Spread frost is going to be possible with some freezing po uh, potential here in the Red River Valley and east into Minnesota. So pay attention to the weather. And if you get the old watches, warnings, or advisories from the Weather Service, you may want to indeed cover up those tomato plants because things get a little bit frosty and frigid on the leaves on those suckers. Now, as you take a look at what we're looking at with regards to tonight's potential for freezing, over in North Dakota, the western half of the state from the uh, McLean County area, Morton County there and Mandan all the way to the Montana border, Watford City, Dickinson, Williston, all in what is called a freeze watch and a freeze warning across the West. So freezing temperatures at or below freezing for several hours possible as we go through the overnight. I'll have an update a little bit later, but for now, I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Thanks so very much for watching. Thanks for hitting the follow button on my Facebook page. That really helps me out. Thank you to all who have. And check me out on YouTube, and you can watch me on the big screen TV in 1080i. Have yourself a wonderful Friday afternoon.